paper. Okay, we're here to start off the budget process and go over um, changes and updates to our long range financial plan. Um, this page that's in the middle, I don't know if everyone got a copy of it, but um, what I'd like to do, if everyone can get a copy, what I'd like to do is it's, um, a very different presentation from last year. I think it's taken a couple of really big steps towards um, combining our capital planning with our financial planning and um, taking our capital planning a step forward. So I do want to commend um, Leanne and Mark in particular for um, the work they've done and the thought that's gone into this. Um, okay, I did ask Mark to give us some idea of um, if we were, if we did want to reduce our overall debt service, what that would mean in terms of projects. And I think he sent that out with $75,000 in debt service per million dollars of project. So if, for example, we want to spend more on projects, like we want to throw a $3 million project in there, we know that that's going to cost us $225,000 in debt service. So that gives us um, a rough idea. Um, the total costs in the plan last year, I mean, by my calculation, we had almost 50 million, and this year we have 40 million. So there, overall, there's less cost in this year's plan. So tell me if that's incorrect. Okay. Um, so, and of course, Mark doesn't go through the whole process of figuring out debt service at this point, but given that we're, you know, with the 20% reduction, um, I think it's if we just stayed with what we have here, we'd be looking at reduced debt service or reduced use of the debt service stabilization fund, right? So just so we kind of know where we are. Um, if the reduction is in GO. I'm not sure which okay. one it's in. Well, let's see. Um, GO went, most of it looks like revenue bonds, the 22.2 to the 14.6, most of it looks like revenue bonds. Um, I was curious about how particular projects changed from last year to this year, um, and so I just I just did this this um, thing at the bottom, cost by project. But um, we, we're probably going to need some explanation as we go through because I think the water, may have, like Lake Drive, the water may have been included in the total, and now it's taken out. So I'm not sure exactly how those numbers worked out, but I was interested in how the total project cost. Changed. Can I ask a question for Lake Drive, for instance, just on the sheet? Um, it was three point five million in our last long range plan. Correct. Yeah. Oh wait, no. I see, but nothing in two thousand nineteen. No, then, now it's down to one million, but there's two million in water. So. So why does it just say twenty twenty two million? Lake Drive water and then Lake Drive reconstruction. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I don't. I, I'm not sure if people want to go like. I think we should talk about the changes in the presentation, scheduling issues, and I do at one point want to go over these changes in project costs. Um, I want to talk about if we have anything missing here that we'd like to be included that's not in here right now. According to Mark, nothing was taken out from last year's plan, but a few things were added. Is that correct? That, that's my recollection. Okay, and then, and then just one second. Um, we, we need to keep in mind that we're looking at two things, both like long range, what we're going to be funding and what we're going to be doing, but also what we're bonding for in 2020. So we have both a very short term bonding perspective and, you know, the 10 year perspective of, of what projects and what groups are going to actually be doing. So this, this is just some questions and how, how I'm hoping things we can hope to hit before they fall. So, yes, did you have a question? Yes, so basically the only difference between this sheet and the spreadsheet is that it, it um, gives us 2019 as a comparison. Mm -hmm. Okay. Was this... It's total. Yeah. Is this the... Tr this is what we were supposed to spend in 2019, or was this what was going to... Was well, so it was a 2019 long-range plan versus a 2020 version of the long-range plan. Okay, so it's, the ver it's not what we were going to spend in 2019. This is just what we said we were going to spend in 2020. No. no, this is the every pro this is the last year's one. plan, the 2019 plan, and this year's plan this as a 10 year window, right? In 10, ten years. years, in the plan, the 10 year plan last year to 2029, we said we'd be spending almost 50 million in projects. 
Now project, project costs have changed. We've updated budgets. We've added a couple water things. But we are the same time window. We're talking now about only 40 right. million. So, uh, so just the question is, the biennial road program, for instance, 6.8 million was estimated to be spent. And now our, our new estimate for the same year is 3.4 or 3.5. It's not that 6.8 was is to be spent in 2019. No, no. Okay, it's just entirely different plans. Plan. Yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, so um, can you, Mark, or Mark, can you describe to us how the presentation sure. is different this year from last year? Do you want me to talk about these and allow Leanne to talk about timing and staging of projects? Well, you're talking about the schedule presentation, correct? Just you mentioned? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think I can do that. Um, in previous years, since the finance department does the schedules, it was, in my mind, uh, a very important distinction as we move from uh, general obligation debt into more revenue bond-based uh, borrowing for the for the utilities. So that's how that schedule was, was generally organized. Um, from practical discussion, I think it kind of been it became apparent that a, a more appropriate uh, perspective is looking at the projects under what projects are coordinated and all happen together water sewer roads in in, in, in in one construction season and then the projects that happen independent of each other so so we now have two different sections uh, the section has got a little pinkish purple Highlighting on the top, coordinated infrastructure projects are all projects that's related. It'll be on your desk, Jessica. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, on your desk. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. And then the um, oh, thanks. The, the page that's got the green highlighting on the top are your general projects that can be implemented, fairly, generally speaking, independent of each other. They're not directly associated with each other, whereas the the, the page that's in the pink uh, highlighting is a, a large degree of association between uh, those projects going down uh, uh, the year. So that's how the presentation in general changed. Um, it's a little harder to tally up because you have to sometimes add two numbers now, one from the coordinated, one from the general projects to get some of the numbers that Trustee Amenta has been able to um, put together for you. but. Um, I, I think from an implementation perspective, um, this serves as a better basis for discussion. So, I mean, I think we should start with, the, I mean, our big dollars and our the big thing we have to focus on is the coordinated, the sewer. Um, my, I guess I had questions on, so we were looking at implementation of the combined sewer in 2022. Um, so what, so Downer Avenue, so in 2020, Downer Avenue South and Unscheduled Road Southeast, how are they connected to the 2022 starting our big sewer project? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that they're connected, um, but we did purposely <coughs> slide Downer into the 2020 slot with the kind of expectation that um, let me back up a second. Um, our, our coordinated sewer projects um, begin upon completion of MMSD's Edgewood Near Surface Collector. That's scheduled to begin um, construction in basically early 2021 and be wrapped up the sewer part in early 2022 with road work in 2022. Okay. So with that understanding, you know, Edgewood, because there's no across the river access at that point, things, you know, you all know this, things get pretty congested there. Um, while I don't know this, it's my expectation that during the course of that MMSD project, um, I, I do expect Edgewood Avenue from Oakland to Maryland or just east of Maryland to be essentially closed to through traffic for that 15 to 18 month period. Okay. Um, knowing that we expect you know, area traffic patterns to change. It's certainly likely that Downer is going to 
could carry more traffic than it does currently, just at least until people find their way. So our thought was that we wanted to get that road ready for um, the potential extra traffic, hence the scheduling of the mill and overlay for Downer in 2020. So that we're in there and that we're out of there before the edge of the project starts, that road is ready for potential additional traffic capacity. Can I just ask you a question? Um, today at the meeting, I see uh, the date forgiven for the for this MMSD work, and it says final design is November. This November, it runs for a year. And construction is July and August of 2020. Is that what you what you're saying? That is not what I have been told. Okay, because that was Kevin Schaefer today telling the ICC members. Well, but I just wanted to let you know. I will certainly truth that out. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> there. Well, the last we spoke, they were looking at a minimum of 12 months for engineering design. Mm -hmm. And the contract hasn't been awarded yet. Yeah, it says runs one year. Yeah. So, so anyways, he thought construction, just sort of, I'm just passing yeah. on, July and August 2020, it starts. Well, okay. <laughs> and then, that's better. <laughs> but I have a question. So Downer, I mean, Downer obviously is north south and Edgewood is east west. Right. So why would not that same logic apply to Oakland South? You know what I'm saying? Like why would we not do Oakland South? Well, um, Oakland South is a considerably more complex project. Right. Um, it, it it will take multiple months, several months to a year to design. Um, and there is probably some utility work that we want to do while we have that open. Um, and it, it just it doesn't line up well with MMSD's timeline. Um, the, there is one other um, consideration. We, um, the Village of Shorewood and the City of Milwaukee have been invited to participate with MMSD in a um, green infrastructure project that they're doing with EPA and the Army Corps of Engineers. And they're identifying 10 sites in the, in the, the region's combined sewer service area, so MMSD, or Shorewood and Milwaukee. Um, and, and those 10 sites, they will develop <coughs> conceptual green infrastructure designs for. Um, but their intent is then to, to take that and turn it into a grant application to EPA that they're, they're hoping and will be expecting to fund these 10 projects. Um, the, the, really the only site in Shore that meets the parameters of their study or evaluation, so to speak, is um, the, probably the, the Oakland Avenue area from Menlo South and into River Park. Um, so by scheduling Oakland Avenue in, um, 2024 is where I believe we have it. Um, that gives us the opportunity to have that that design work completed and that grant potentially awarded. So that work could then be wrapped into the reconstruction of Oakland Avenue. So we would have a lot of mm -hmm. options for adding green infrastructure improvements um, if we were to wait until 2024. Um, is there? When we had originally met, I, I was under the impression there was one of these components they wanted us to, to coordinate jointly. If we're going to open up the road, they said, let's open it up and then put it back together. Who's they? The MMSD, I'm sorry. Um, for Edgewood. The I'm thinking it. about how the city owns half of Edgewood. And we yeah, own and, then, and then That's MMSD was going to pay for the road to be put back down. Correct, and then we would reimburse them well, for our proportionate share would fell outside of those. Oh, so, but regardless, yeah. so, so wouldn't, is that just for the Edgewood joint, part? like is that, which part of this long range plan is that? That's not, that doesn't, that doesn't appear on this, specifically does not appear on this plan, because that project is an MMSD project. Um, so what is this paying but, for the six million? What is, is that our share of the project? That's our share of the other phases. Oh, um, nine twenty-two should have some type of money so on that. So twenty twenty-two is not just the deep. Mm -hmm. That's our connection to the big pipe. How far up in the bit, the basin are we going on the six million? I, I thought that it was, was number twenty-two. Was the one we were excuse me, excuse me. Okay, we had a meeting. When did we have a meeting? Um, a little while ago. Remember yeah. when we went over all the. And yeah. we talked about the latest 
plan, engineering plan, which right. are the branches into the. Mm -hmm. So I assume the latest, the latest version of the engineering plan is is what the branches. Yep, are. and I have and I have a map that shows that. Oh, okay. Um, but the the Edgewood project is driven by MMSD. It's paid for by MMSD. The only cost share that Shore would potentially have is the reconstruction of Edgewood Avenue over and above what they would have done to restore it had the city and the village not asked them to you know, do it correctly. Mm -hmm. Are you that seven fifty that's in here? Um, where is where does that appear? Oh, fine twenty two. So that's pavement restoration only. That has no that's not in, that's not sewer cost per se. Right, so the asphalt, that's what I was asking. So that's the cost. It's concrete. And it would yes. be after they're done, correct? Like, so if they do it in 2021, we would schedule that for 2021. If they do it. We don't schedule it. That's part right. of their project. Okay. But okay. last I heard, they told, I'm sorry, that the sewer would be complete in early 2022, and the road reconstruction would occur in 2022. Okay. So that, so um, line 23, unscheduled road southeast, what is that? That is, that um, reflects your, the board's request for staff and the village engineer to review payment conditions in the southeast area and develop a mill and overlay plan that would provide temporary relief until we complete the build out and the phasing of the combined sewer and road reconstruction combination projects in the southeast area. So, so specific, do you know specifically what I do? I have a map. Okay, why don't you pass up? All right. <laughs> and then in addition, this, this great just following up, where is future road overlays, like, where's the future cost show up? Um, 